Kwanza mimi nataka nichukue nafasi hii ni mshukuru Mungu kwa kutupatia nafasi na kibali tuweze kufika hapa Kitui kwa ibada hii maalum ya shukurani na mimi nataka nimshukuru um, Reverend Muli wa kanisa letu la AIC hapa mjini kwa kutukaribisha hapa kanisani. Nataka niwashukuru viongozi wote wakiongozwa na gavana wetu ndugu Malo, Malo, Malombe karibu <laughs> niseme Malomba <clears throat> ndugu Malombe kwa kutukaribisha na viongozi wale wengine wa bunge pamoja na MCS wetu Asanteni sana kwa kutukaribisha hapa Kitui na leo tumekuja hapa kwa sababu ya ibada ya kanisa tushirikiane pamoja na nyinyi na mimi nataka nichukue nafasi hii kwanza pia ni pate nafasi ya kuwashukuru watu wa Kitui tulikuja hapa tukaomba kura zenu na nyinyi watu wa Kitui nasimama mbele yenu leo kusema asante sana nyinyi ni watu wazuri nyinyi ni watu waminifu nilisimama hapa mjini mara nyingi na mliniahidi ya kwamba mtatupatia kura zenu na kweli mlitupatia kura zenu nasema asante sana wale wote tuliopata sasa nafasi ya kuchaguliwa kutoka MCS wetu wa kutoka mawazo yote wa bunge magavana maseneta na mimi na ndugu yangu hapa rigadhi sisi wote sasa na waomba tuungane ili tuwafanyie kazi hawa wananchi waliotupatia nafasi ya uongozi vile viongozi wenu wamesema na mimi pia nataka niwaambie mimi na serikali ya Kenya tuko tayari kufanya kazi na viongozi wenu wote waliochaguliwa the same way you are ready to work with me i am also ready to work with you for the benefit of the electorate and the people of kenya in kitui and in the whole country nataka mjue hivyo ya kwamba tutashirikiana pamoja na nyinyi kufanya ile kazi hawa wananchi wametupatia nataka nishukuru viongozi wetu wa dini maaskofu mlio hapa asanteni sana kwa kuombea taifa letu mlituombea sisi wote hakuna mtu amechaguliwa hapa kwa sababu ya ujaziri ama kwa sababu yeye ni mwerevu kuliko wale wengine tumechaguliwa kwa neema ya Mungu na mimi nataka niwashukuru sana kwa kutuombea sisi tulio viongozi na kuombea amani katika taifa letu la Kenya vile viongozi wenzangu walivyosema huu uchaguzi wa mwaka huu ulikuwa na uchaguzi wa aina ya kipekee sisi wote tulisema yale tulisema lakini mwisho wananchi waliamua na tukawa na amani katika taifa letu la Kenya tunamshukuru Mungu na tunashukuru viongozi hawa wetu kwa kuombea taifa letu la Kenya mimi nataka niwaambie hivi baada ya hii uchaguzi tuko na viongozi wa serikali na tuko na viongozi wa upinzani lakini wananchi wote wa Kenya ni wananchi wa taifa letu moja la Kenya hakuna wananchi wa upinzani na hakuna wananchi wa sehemu ile ingine. sisi wote ni ndugu moja wale wenyewe wako kwa upinzani ni viongozi na wale wenye wako kwa serikali ni viongozi na hawa viongozi wote wale wa serikali na wale wa upinzani wanafanya kazi moja ya wananchi wa taifa letu la Kenya na mimi nataka niwaulize sisi wote tuliopata nafasi hiyo tukiwa upande wa serikali tukiwa upande wa upinzani sisi tujue kwamba ile kazi tunafanya ni vile mwananchi wa Kenya atafaidika 
na vile Kenya yetu tutapiga hatua ya kwenda mbele and that is why i am saying those of us who have the opportunity to lead those of us who have been elected in all the categories from mcs upwards we have an opportunity to serve the people of kenya in our various capacities those in government and those in the opposition have responsibilities assigned to us by the people so that we can drive the leadership of our country in a manner that benefits all the citizens those who are in government must be diligent so that we can use the resources of kenya appropriately to serve the interests of development of all our people and those in the opposition must equally be diligent so that they can hold government at the national level government at the county level to account so that every penny and every resource can be used for the benefit of the people of our great country so to shirikiana namna hiyo na mimi nataka niwahakikishie kwamba hiyo kazi tutafanya na bidii na kujitolea kwa sababu tuko na kazi kubwa ya kufanya katika taifa letu la Kenya naelewa yale mambo mmesema hapa kama watu wa kitui mumesikia nikisema juzi kuhusu mambo ya maji Mungu ametujalia tuko na nchi yenye rotuba hata ingawaje hatuna mvua ya kutosha lakini pia Mungu ametupatia mito so tumekubaliana ya kwamba njia ya kuondoa njaa katika taifa letu la Kenya moja wapo nataka niwashapo ni kusaidia wakulima wetu katika leo polea mbegu na zile zingine na hatua ya pili ni kuhakikisha kwamba tunahamisha mambo ya kilimo kutoka mambo ya kungojea mvua mpaka tufanye irrigation na pale irrigation lazima to take maji we must harvest water and i like what your governor has said about the project and program of water harvesting nimetangaza ya kwamba tutajenga dam zile kubwa mia moja katika taifa letu la Kenya lakini tutajenga zile ndogo nyingi kwa sababu tunataka ku harvest water at every level and i agree with your county uh, governor that we should be able to have sand dams and other dams at every level ndio tuweze kuhakikisha kwamba wananchi wanapata maji ya matumizi nyumbani maji ya mifugo na vile vile maji ya irrigation ndio tuweze kuzalisha chakula kenya yetu sasa tunatumia karibu bilioni miambili kuagiza chakula kutoka nchi zingine hiyo bilioni miambili tunaweza kuwalipa wakulima wetu tukiwasaidia wazalishe chakula it is absolutely not right that today we are using our foreign currency to import 200 billion worth of food that we can grow locally and therefore i am going to work with the county governments so that we can have a program of harvesting water at every level and facilitating our farmers to use that water to produce food so that we stop importing food and grow it locally as we develop our own economy so tutashirikiana pamoja na nyinyi governors wetu wabunge wetu tutaleta sheria hivi karibuni kule bunge muturekebishie sheria ndio tuwe na mpango ya um, water harvesting na hiyo mpango tusaidiane na uh, private sector through public uh, uh, private public uh, public private partnership tuhakikishe kwamba tunapata njia vile tunatumia PPP kuzalisha umeme vile vile tutumie PPP to deliver water to our people so tutashirikiana hivyo and i hope my good friends in the national assembly ndugu yangu makali muli
amesema hapa he will be holding us to account and that is good lakini pia nikileta sheria ya kuleta maji ukambani unisaidie na wale wenzako kwa sababu tunataka kuleta maji every part of the of the republic of kenya jam tumekubaliana vile vile ya kwamba lazima tuwe na mpango ambayo haiwachi wa Kenya wengine nyuma and that is why nilisema tutakuwa na hazina maalum ambayo itasaidia wale wafanyabiashara wa micro small and medium enterprise na nimetangaza ya kwamba tarehe moja Disemba ile hasla fund ambayo itapatia hawa watu wa chini hawa pesa ya biashara tutailaunch formally awamu ya kwanza itakuwa ile ya individuals alafu tutaenda kwa chama alafu tutaenda kwa sako alafu tutaenda kwa cooperative ndio tuhakikisha kwamba kila mkenya anapata nafasi ya kufanya biashara yake bila ya kuangaishwa na madeni makubwa tayari tumeuliza wale watu wafuliza wapunguze ile interest yao na wamekubali wamepunguza by 50%. Na mtaona hivi karibuni wale watu mlikuwa mmezimiwa simu kwa mambo ya CRB simu zenu zitafunguliwa. Because we want to move the country together. Hapa ukambani vile mumesema mambo ya barabara zenu. Mnaelewa ya kwamba barabara nyingi zimekwama katika taifa letu la Kenya sio hapa kwenu peke yake kwa sababu tulikuwa na matatizo ya fedha lakini saa hizi tunafanya mpango in a much more innovative way on how to deliver on our roads program muda kidogo tu mtupatie alafu tutarudisha wale contractors wote ambao saa hizi hawako barabarani tutawarudisha watukamilishie hizo barabara ambazo tayari zimeanzishwa alafu tutaanzisha zingine kulingana na mapendekezo ya viongozi wenu na viongozi wengine katika taifa letu la Kenya so that is the program we have and that is what we are going to do together mambo yale tumekubaliana hapa ya ambayo yametajwa na viongozi wenu ya mambo ya usalama maneno ya usalama ni ya muhimu sana kwa sababu bila usalama watoto hawezi kusoma, hatuwezi kwenda kazini, hatuwezi kwenda kilimo, itakuwa ni matatizo. Na ndiyo sababu mimi nimeamurisha ya kwamba polisi budget yao tukienda mbele itaondolewa kutoka ofisi yangu tuwapatie budget yao maalum ili waweze kusimamia usalama kwa njia ambayo mimi kazi yangu itakuwa ni kuwauliza maswali. I have said we are going to give our police an independent budget and we are going to demand from them once we give them an independent budget because in the past walikuwa wanatuambia ati hawawezi kufanya usalama kwa sababu budget yao iko kwa ofisi nyingine lazima waende wazungumze na watu fulani lazima wafurahishe watu fulani ndio wapatiwe pesa ya kufanya kazi yao. Nimesema budget ya polisi ipelekwe kwa IG ya polisi. Yeye apange mambo na wale commanders wake na mimi nataka niulize yule county commander wetu wa hapa Eastern eh, Region. Mambo hiyo nimesikia ya watu kuangaika hapa. My friend, hamuna sababu. Mimi nimewapatia pesa zenu. Nataka hiyo kazi mufanye. County commissioner, regional commissioner, msingoje waziri, hiyo ni kazi inatoshana na nyinyi. Na hiyo kazi nataka najua mtaiweza. Mutai, so tunataka usalama pale na mimi nataka nimshukuru governor kwa kuvolontia kuweka pesa ya kujenga eh, stations na mimi nataka nikuhakikishie governor ukijenga stations nitaweka askari na tutahakikisha kwamba tuko na watu wa kutosha It's going to be a joint program because we want to secure every part of the Republic of Kenya. Na tumesema ya kwamba wafanyikazi wetu wote wa serikali 
na mimi nawashukuru wafanyikazi wa serikali kwa sababu ya kujitolea na kufanya kazi hata ingawaje saa zingine hamuna vifaa ya kutosha so many public servants work very hard and i want to congratulate them na tumesema ya kwamba hatutaki tena wafanyikazi wa serikali wafanye kazi ya siasa kazi ya siasa ni sisi wanasiasa na wale watu wetu kila mtu wako na mati yake ndio kila mtu wako na mati yake ya siasa si wamesamamishwa hapa wakasemekana kuna watu ya UDA hapa si ndio sio ndio watu yangu ya kuendesha siasa malombe yako na wake ya kuendesha siasa mwingine yako na yake ya kuendesha siasa tutawachanganya huko mbele watu saidie kuendesha siasa lakini wafanyikazi wa serikali wafanye kazi ya serikali ile maneno ya chief sijui nani kufanyishwa kazi ya siasa hiyo tumesema ikome na ikome na isikue tena katika taifa letu la Kenya we want public servants to serve the people of Kenya equally with irrespective of what political affiliation they belong to ni mwananielewa mwananchi yako huru kuchagua anataka kwenda chama gani lakini wafanyikazi wa serikali wamfanyie kazi mwananchi bila ya kujali huyu ni wa chama hii huyu ni wa chama ile huyu ni chama ingine wewe fanya kazi ya serikali kulingana na ile eh, sheria na kulingana na code of service ya public service ili tuwe na taifa ambayo kila mkenya anaheshimiwa that's what we want to do na nafikiri ma chief county commissioner regional commissioner wame, wameelewa mimi sitaki regional commissioner anisaidie kazi ya UDA ama Kenya kwanza hapana hiyo nitafanya na wengine mimi nataka regional commissioner county commissioner na wale wengine watusaidie kufanya kazi ya serikali weka amani hakikisha mwananchi yako na ID hakikisha yule ambaye anataka mambo yake ifanyike hiyo ndio kazi yenu hii ingine ya siasa tutakorogana na wale wa siasa si ndio wavinya eh namna hiyo <laughs> hata wavinya amekubali so <laughs> tukubaliane namna hiyo ndio Kenya iwe ni Kenya ambaye iwe nchi ambaye inaheshimika Mwisho mimi nataka mjue ya kwamba tutashirikiana pamoja na nyinyi. Mimi nimesema ya kwamba hii serikali ambayo tumetengeneza ni serikali ya wakenya. Na hakuna wakenya watabaguliwa. Kwa sababu serikali ya Kenya ni hii moja. Hakuna ingine. Si ndio hii? Eh, so tutashirikisha tutawaunganisha nyinyi wote tutawajumuisha nyinyi wote ile tu jambo moja nataka munisaidie kazi ya kupanga mambo ya maji kazi ya kupanga barabara vile mtapata stima vile tutabadilisha mambo ya e, kilimo vile tutazalisha chakula vile tutakuwa na madawa hospitali hiyo nitapanga na hawa viongozi lakini mimi nataka niwaulize nyinyi wa Kenya, munisaidie tu kitu moja, kila mtu alipe ushuru. E, kila mtu tu alipe tax. Kwa sababu hii kazi yote haiwezi kufanyika bila ya pesa. Na pesa hakuna mahali serikali inatoa pesa. Pesa inatoka kwa ushuru ambayo kila mwananchi analipa. Na mimi nataka niwapongeze wananchi wale wadogo. Mama Mboga anangangana hapa Kitui Town mpaka analipa shilingi ya msini ya ushuru kila siku. Lakini sisi ambao tuko juu juu hapa tunahepa kulipa ushuru. Na Mama Mboga anangangana analipa. Kama Mama Mboga analipa jameni si sisi hata sisi tulipe. Ama mnasemaje? Eh, kila mtu alipe ushuru. Mimi na waomba kwa unyenyekevu wa Kenya wote the only way we can truly be an independent nation is when we can support our development with our own resources biblia inasema the the borrower is a slave to the lender 
Yeye mnaelewa? Yule ambaye ame, amekopesha ni mtumwa ya ule mwenye ambaye anakopesha mwenzake. So we do not want our nation to be in debt. Saa hii tuko na madeni tunalipa shilingi trillion moja karibu na, na milioni miaine kila bilioni miaine kila mwaka. So lazima tusimamishe mambo ya kukopa mapesa ya watu wengine. Na tuanze kutafuta pesa zetu wenyewe kama wakenya. Mimi na waomba wakenya wote inawezekana saa hizi tunakuzanya trilioni mbili. Kufikia mwaka ujao tunataka kusanya trilioni tatu. Before the end of five years tusanye trilioni ine. Na ndio tutatengeneza mabarabara tutahakikisha kwamba watoto wetu wako na masomo ya kutosha tutaweka maji tutaondoa njaa na tutahakikisha Kenya inaenda mbele na mimi i want to promise you i will lead from the front kuhakikisha kwamba tunaondoa Kenya katika ulingo wa madeni tunataka kupeleka Kenya yetu mbele tuna tunaelewana jameni so mimi na waomba kwa unyenyekevu sisi wote tushirikiane Eh, maneno ya siasa tumemaliza sasa ni maneno ya kuungana kama viongozi tuweze kushughulika na mambo ya maendeleo ya wananchi wa taifa letu la Kenya na mimi nawahakikishia hakuna sehemu ya Kenya itabaguliwa hakuna jamii ya Kenya itabaguliwa hakuna sehemu ya Kenya ambayo itabaki nyuma tutatembea sambamba pamoja hawa viongozi eh, wote ambao eh, tumewachagua hata ingawaje mnasema Monica anatoka huku kwenu huyu Penina anatoka huku kwenu huyu Mutua anatoka huku kwenu lakini hawa watafanyia kazi wa Kenya wote vile wale wengine wote watawafanyia kazi wa Kenya wote these cabinet ministers will serve all Kenyans equally because we want to grow this nation together and there is no way Kenya can move forward if other parts of the country are left behind. We are going to work together and we are going to go forward together. Mumeniambia kuhusu maneno ya ndugu yangu Stephen. Stephen ni ndugu yangu mkubwa na akiwa tayari kufanya kazi na mimi, mimi niko tayari kufanya kazi na yeye. Mnajua niliwaambia wakati nilikuwa hapa kama mnakumbuka niliwaambia Mungu akinijalia nifanye niunde serikali nitatafuta ndugu yangu Steven ni mushirikishe katika kuendesha hiyo serikali si namna hiyo na mimi nataka nimjue mimi mwenyewe nimemtafuta huyo Steven nimeketi chini na yeye nikamwambia ndio hii serikali tuunde pa, tuende pamoja akaniambia kwanza anataka kujaribu ya upinzani so Waja jaribu kidogo alafu tutaona mbili <laughs> So zina mna hiyo eh waja jaribu ya upinzani kwanza tuone ma, vile mahali tafika alafu tunaweza kuongea tena baadaye So there is no problem hata <laughs> ya upinzani ni kazi pia so there is no problem Si tulisema kazi ni kazi <laughs> so tungangane tu namna hiyo <coughs> na vile nimewaambia hata hii ya upinzani inatusaidia pia kurekebisha maneno ndio Kenya iweze kwenda mbele so mimi nawashukuru sana mjue ninawapenda sana na watakia baraka ya Mungu na niwahakikishie tutatembea pamoja na watu wa Kitui na watu wa hapa ukambani asanteni sana Mungu awabariki god bless you